Miss Miller Rahman Rahim. Today we are going to start the topic that is the applications of Gauss's law. Basically, why we want to study the Gauss's law and what is the significance of Gauss's law. There are many reasons to study Gauss's law in physics. First reason might be that Gauss's law can be applied for different charge configurations like linear, surface, and volume configuration. In all such cases, we consider a closed imaginary surface and this closed imaginary surface is called the Gaussian surface. Why we consider the Gaussian surface in Gauss's law? Its basic reason is that with the help of the Gaussian surface, we can easily calculate the electric flux and with the help of the electric flux, we can easily calculate the value of the electric field intensity. So we can say that the Gauss's law is used for the closed surfaces. The second reason to use the Gauss's law is that it usually makes the problems very easy. Uh, we can easily apply the Gauss's law in different uh, symmetrical bodies. The next reason of the Gauss's law, it describes the quantitative relationship between flux and the charge. When we define the Gauss's law, the basic relationship for the Gauss's law is phi is equal to 1 over epsilon naught into Q. It means that in this equation, both the flux and the charge has come. It means that it's, it describes the relationship of both these two quantities. And the last and the most important reason of the Gauss's law and its application is that the Coulomb's law can easily be obtained and easily can be derived from the Gauss's law. It means that the last result of the Coulomb's law can be derived from the Gauss's law.